Hey guys, today I wanted to go ahead and show you how to actually raid at high levels. As you can see, I've got a, a pretty strong team. Uh, my cups are up there a little bit. I'm actually slacking quite a bit. Um, so I want to show you actually first, you can kind of take a look at my current heroes right now. I've got two uh, 180, one that's on the way to 80, uh, and quite a few different 70s. Now, uh, I got to this point just from playing a fair amount. I used to level evenly, but now I uh, have the benefit of having a strong five color team that allows me to focus on secondary type, um, type heroes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the best method right now. For me, generally, I look at the, the hams, so um, my team power, I can face anywhere up to 4,100, so a lot of it is luck-based, but you can do a lot to put things in your favor. So for this one here, I'll go ahead and I'll attack this. It's got a fair amount of cups, uh, hams, so this, uh, this can actually be somewhat difficult for a lot of people uh, facing Leixu. So I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to go ahead and edit my team to translate to the middle uh, tank. So I have that close to 70 and I actually uh, need to have a healer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. So this, this will be pretty effective to go ahead and handle this person. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look one more time. He's got regard. So there's nothing really I have to worry about too, too much. I'm just gonna blast through the front. You'll see uh, a lot of times I attack with no healers whatsoever and I just go full strength. But this one here, I'm gonna show you a really good method uh, to go ahead and do that. Now, if you have a little bit weaker of a team, as you can see, instead of uh, Tib uh, Tibertus, I could also run Sabina that's fully fully uh, leveled out. Um, so, but typically you want to have multiple colors against that. And also mentally note that I have no greens, so not to really worry about that. Uh, the way that your team is actually put, it's not end of the world, but typically you don't want double purple next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and attack him. Uh, one big thing that I want to go ahead and point out to you guys is that it's not what you see immediately, it's what you can go ahead and bring by making the move. So a lot of times I'm not making moves that are specific to that, I'm setting myself up for, for better moves. So for instance, that move that it's suggesting to me is a pretty solid move because ideally I want to get my purples in that range because my purples are going to deal double damage. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna go right here. So you can see right now I've got the three reds in there, the, the yellows, that's kind of causing an issue. But if I move this yellow down here, I have the potential, I have pretty good odds that I'll hit the red right there, which will cause a tumbling effect. So we'll see if that works. So I missed on that one. So right now I'm at a pretty disadvantage because I haven't gotten uh, my main stuff put in place. I haven't gotten any purples and you can see the tank is already pretty pretty leveled up. So I'm definitely going to take a hit from the tank. So again I'm going to try and set up those reds to kind of clear out those reds. And you see that happened there. So I'm going to go up with that red right there and I'm going to try and create the purples below. I came close. Uh, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make this move. Ideally, I want to get rid of the most amount of colors. Now, this is a very important move for you, okay? Right there, all you can see is I just need that red to have a purple in one of two of the spaces. It could either be right down at the very bottom or it can be right there in the middle. So I really want to go ahead and have this red hit. Get rid of this red so those purples can make a diamond. See, I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to go and heal my guys. I'm going to bring the purple down. 
and you can see that I killed the tank right there. Now this is pretty much game over guys because I don't have to worry about the, the center going ahead and killing me and I'm about to knock off all of these purples to go ahead and I'm going to hit Tiberis and I'm also going to hit, um, hit Hell. Now a lot of times what people will go ahead and do is they're going to go ahead and just swipe and hit the diamond but my two purples are very close to going off and they only require about three more. So instead of hitting the purple I'm going to go down with this purple that hits them both. I'm going to come over here with Hell and Tibertus. I'm going to knock those out. And then now when I use the purple, I'm going to hit them leveled up again. See that? Now I'm going to come over here. Same thing. Hit Tibertus. Boom. And like I said, this is pretty much smooth sailing now because he's already lost two characters, he's already down, and now it's just more of kind of clean up. So you still don't want to play sloppy, but it's going to be very unlikely that he's going to be able to kill me. <clears throat> That's okay right now. So I have the option right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill him, just so it's going to be three against two. And now I'm working on charging my June one more time. And you can see, boom, should be pretty close to dead. There you go. So again, guys, it's, it's more of setting up the tiles, and this is going to be effective for, for anything.